Good morning, and welcome back to Swim Shorts, where I give you a quick and easy guide to everything Storm Equestrian. So today, we will be learning how to install Swim. This is the new, updated version, and maybe easier for some. So first, if you don't have CurseForge, we gotta go download that. So look up CurseForge on your computer, and then you're going to want to get the CurseForge app. You can download that as a standalone or on Overwolf. I personally have a Windows computer, so I will be downloading that as a Windows file. Once that is downloaded, you're going to want to open CurseForge. Once CurseForge Windows installer is open, you're going to hit Next, I accept, Next, and let it install. Once you're on this page, you can simply hit Skip Intro or you can hit Next to have an intro. We are going to hit Skip Intro. So first, we are going to want to click Minecraft. If it's not already there, I'm sure you can search for it to be able to find it. Once you see Minecraft, you're going to click on it and this will open up all of your Minecraft packs. So the easiest way to add Swim would be to click Browse, and then in this search bar, you will want to type in A-L-A-H-A-R-R-A-N-H-O-N-O-R. And that is for Alahar and Honor, who is the wonderful owner of Swim. And that will bring up the Star Equestrian Starter Pack. I know a lot of people had trouble finding it because sometimes when you type in Equestrian Starter Pack, it won't come up. This is just the easiest way to do so. And then, once you have this up, you can click it. And you can see all the different versions, the change logs, screenshots, and the versions depending on what type of the game you want to play. 1.16.5. Here it is waiting for you. If you want to play 1.18.2, here it is. And then our newest version is 1.20.1. .1. So as an example for this video, since I already have 1.20.1 .1 already downloaded, we're going to download 1.18.2. All you'd simply click would be install, and it will load into your forge. This mod is already ready to go with absolutely everything that you need. So when it's finally downloaded, you will want to go to your mod packs, and it should be sitting right there waiting for you. All you simply do is hit play, and it will launch the profile. And then boom, you are ready to go. All you have to do is hit play. Now, some people would want to add really cool mods to their world. There is already a bunch of mods included in this. However, I like to add stuff such as Rubidium and Oculus, which allow me to have really nice shaders. Or I want to add a attack mod. So for this example, we are going to use Trey's tack mod. So a good way to look for extra mods to add into your world that also match your version, which is very important because otherwise the game will not play, is to simply go onto the CurseForward webpage. You'll want to click Minecraft, and then you can simply search for whatever mods you would like to use. For example, we are going to use Trey's Tack Shop mod to add onto our swim pack. So to do this, I would simply click on it, and then we are running a 1.18.2 version, so I will simply click the three dots and hit download file. You can also install with the CurseForge app, but I just prefer to do it this way as I think it's a little bit more simple. So after that, you would simply download it to your downloads file. You're gonna go back to CurseForge, go to your mod packs, and then once you open up the file, you're going to go to mods and drag the new mod into your mods folder. And please be sure to make sure that the versions match, otherwise, your world will keep crashing and it will be very annoying. So that's it. That's how you add more mods into your already made, ready to go mod pack. I hope this was super helpful. I think this is the simplest way to do it and it takes less than five minutes. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I hope you have an incredible day.